Let's see, let's see. We're gonna see what is all character doing. All fighters basic movement after wall jumping. You will now need to wait longer before before wall jumping in the same direction again. All right. Doesn't sound like sounds like a slight slight change, but probably not gonna change much overall. Donkey Kong neutral special super armor lasts longer after unleashing the fully charged move. All right. So, a little bit more annoying, but it's still DK. Samus, up smash, made it easier to hit multiple times. Dark Samus, up smash, oh, same thing. So, fixing multi-hit multi, multi -hit moves. Actually, many multi-hit moves in this game have the issue uh, where they don't connect properly. Same thing here, made it easier to hit multiple times when continuing, yeah. Pikachu grab, increased grab range. All right, Pikachu is already a very good character. So, all right, Pikachu is a winner so far. But increased grab range doesn't mean much. That's something people need to remember. This is what people will check up eventually as well. How much does increased grab range mean? Uh, Luigi, neutral, made it easier to hit multiple times. All right, same seems to be a very common theme here. Luigi grab, adjusted attack range when used just before landing. It will now be easier to hit opponents in front of you. Luigi down special. When using this move on the ground and rising into the air with certain timing, the invincibility will no longer last the entire duration of the move. All right, so that's a nerf then. Ness neutral attack to increased attack range and move forward, make it easier to multiple times. All right, yeah, multiple times. Falcon have a lot of notes here. Side tilt, okay, so F tilt, extended launch distance, so it's stronger. Up tilt, increased attack speed. Forward air, increased the high damage range. All right. Back air, extended launch distance, so back air is also stronger. Side B, increased attack speed when getting close to an opponent. Oh, uh, okay, okay, so when you're closer, you get faster. Increase the durability of the super armor. Extended the time until launch opponents can move again. All right, so they have more hit stun as well. All right, so Falcon actually got quite a few. Probably nothing super, super major, but maybe if side special have enough hit stun, it combos into something. So that, that could be, that could be big. Oh, down special as well. Extended the time, hit detection lasts on the ground and in the air. All right, also, yeah, slight, oh, puff. Do I even dare to read more? All right, be brave, challenge myself. Neutral attack one, made it easier to hit multiple times. Neutral, okay, uh, all right, puff is basically, it doesn't matter, good. Oh, Peach has a lot of changes. Neutral attack one, maybe, yeah, uh, multiple, yeah. S uh, F smash, extended launch distance with the golf club. All right, so it's stronger for there. Shorten the launch distance. That's pretty big because Peach's fair is actually hella fucking strong if you get the correct hit. Back throw, shorten the launch distance. So she kills worse. Back throw is a little bit like a kill throw, but a bad, kind of bad one. Or by bad one, I mean that a lot of throws that people define as kill throws, they kill so late that I have a hard time calling it that. Anyway, back throw will kill later. Side special. So side B, increased mortability after hitting. I'm actually uh, wondering exactly, exactly how much this is gonna be because Peach's side special is so annoying. It's actually safe on shield. You have to parry it. It's so stupid. Peach up special made it easier to hit multiple. Okay, same. Peach down special. In okay. A uh, little bit wondering what they mean by this exactly. Uh, Daisy made it easier. Yeah, side smash attack. Is it the same? Yeah, Daisy seems to be the same thing. Yeah, ice climbers basic movement. Ice climbers will now recover mid-air jumps the same way as other fighters. Okay. 
basic movement again. Then I will no longer jump when pressing the jump button right after I grab. So, does this affect desyncs? I guess it does, right? I'm by no means an ICs expert, but this sounds really bad for desyncs. Yeah, this sounds like they are trying to get rid of like potential uh, infinites and stuff. Uh, Gamer actually did lab out an infinite, so yeah, this sounds like rip uh, for ICs. This act, this actually could be really bad for the character. Not even the infinites only, but a lot of like combos. This could actually really hurt the character in terms of viability. Pichu is now easier to hit. All right. An increased size, shield size. Oh, I think that's you know kind of fair. Pichu is really hard to hit, so yeah. No, I think I'm okay with that. Oh wait, it was more for Pichu. Wait, Pichu had so many. Side tilt, so F tilt increased the amount of damage taken when using the move and short. Okay, so F tilt, which kills really early, is not as as strong. And you also take more damage using it. Uh, F smash increased the amount of damage taken when using the move and increased vulnerability. Pichu down smash increased the amount of damage taken. Oh, it's a lot of increased damage taken when using the move. Increased, 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 increased. All right, so the increased damage taken when using the move across the board. It's probably the same. They probably increase it by the same for all the moves, I would imagine. So yeah, Pichu, that actually adds up. That actually adds up. Even if it's only like a 0.2 or 0.3% difference in how much damage you take, that adds up. That very clearly adds up. Especially since Pichu dies early already and the character uh, the character is easier to hit now as well. So Pichu and, I and Ices are two of like the loser, or two of the characters that lost the most so far. Uh, Lucina, F smash sh is weaker, for there is weaker. All right, Lucina also losing quite quite a bit, potentially. Again, it it is very different based on how much is the dis like the shortened launch distance. Don't let a single one get away. Um, all right. Ganondorf down smash made it easier to hit. okay so connecting better Roy up smash easier yeah multiple times both Roy and Krom uh, game watch up tilt easier to hit multiple times yeah easier to hit multiple times up smash for the pits side special so side B for dark pit reduce vulnerability when hitting an opponent in the air serious suit Samus side special side B made it easier to hit multiple times now special extended the travel distance when inputting left or right with the C stick. Oh, okay, okay. So a little bit better for Serious Suit. Mm, Alright, Snake made it easier. Yeah. Neutral attack 2 increased forward move movement distance and made it easier to hit move. Yeah. It's so many of those. I wish they, they had at the top, or, nah, it's actually good that they are pointing them all out. Yeah, neutral special, yeah, the, that's like the bullet seeds, or whatever it's called. Uh, neutral special, yeah, made easy to hit multiple times. Charizard, made easy to hit multiple times when continue, increased forward movement distance. It made easy to hit, yeah. Diddy Kong has a lot. Neutral attack to increased attack range and made it easier to hit multiple times. Dash attack adjusted launch angle. I feel like it's probably not adjusted in a way that really matters, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Diddy Kong up smash, easier to hit multiple times. And ex okay, extended launch distance. That could be big for Diddy Kong. That could be big for Diddy Kong since uh, they made it much harder for this character to kill compared to Smash 4. Up air, reduce vulnerability, reduce vulnerability when landing. Oh, okay, that's, okay. I wasn't entirely sure what they meant with this earlier. But okay. So it's like less, less landing lag. 
is that's what it sounds like to me. So as I said, reduce vulnerability when landing after using the move. Okay, so less lag. Yeah, at first I was like, wait, what do they mean with that? Oh wait, so what was that peaches, peaches and daisies turnips? That it's less. Oh no, increased lag. It was increased lag. All right, so yeah, peach, peach, uh, yeah, that peach loses out quite a bit on that. Uh, where were we? Down air, increased attack speed. Yeah, that's a pretty slow spike. So now it's faster. Did a Kong neutral special, increased power. However, the power against shields will remain the same. Shorten the charge time. So the peanuts a bit better. Up B, decrease the fall speed while charging. Extending vertical distance when charged. So his up B is basically uh, better. He doesn't fall as fast, so you can charge for longer. Uh, so yeah, final smash, I don't really care about. Uh, Olimar, basic movement, easier to hit. Let's go, Olimar, easier to hit. Side smash attack, so F smash, reduced the high damage window, increased lag. Up smash attack, increased lag. Olimar, up B, adjusted a fly time when the move is used repeatedly. All right, I wonder what they mean by adjusted the fly time. But since it sounds like, oh, if you do it over and over, it sounds like it got worse. So Olimar got quite a bit nerfed as well. It really looks like they're looking at tournament results or something. Because a lot of, like, the good characters actually have gotten a few nerfs here and there. Lucario reduced lag on neutral attacks. Uh, and dash attack increased attack range. Side tilt attack extended launch distance. Increase the high damage range. Damn, Lucario have so many. Made it easier to hit multiple times on up smash. Increase the range when we hit opponents on the ground. Uh, okay, yeah, a lot of moves actually have a hard time hitting grounded opponents, especially like up tilts and stuff. Made it easier to hit multiple times. Oh. Uh... Rob, neutral attacks, easier to hit multiple times, increased attack range. Toon Link, neutral attack one, mi yeah, I already told they was the same. Wolf, easier to hit multiple times. Neutral attack two, increased attack range and made it easier to hit multiple times when continuing with neutral attack three. Move the attack range forward and made it easier to hit multiple times, yeah. Down smash, shorten the launch distance of the front attack. They nerfed. Did they nerf the, the backwards hitbox on down smash before? But I know a lot of people have complained about Wolf's down smash. Yeah, it really feels like they have looked up a lot of things online that complains about on, you know, various websites. Is it the same, same nerf as before or was it the back hit in the past? I actually don't remember. But yeah, his down smash is nerfed once again. And Wolf's laser is slower. So yeah, Wolf is also a bit nerfed for sure. Oh wait, we had more with Wolf. Up special, up E. Reduce the range of the last attack. Adjusted launch angle made it easier to hit multiple times. All right. Uh, well, reduce the range of the last attack. That's like the hitbox when you like go up, you up e to the ledge with Wolf and it hits people on stage like really, you know, weirdly. Villager up smash, yeah, easier to hit multiple times. With a trainer, yeah, easier to hit multiple times. Uh, Rosa and Luma dash attack, reduce Luma's lag, I guess it means here again. Side. F, F smash, extended launch distance when Luma is near. Four there, made it easier to hit multiple times. Reduced vulnerability, increased the speed of the edge grab range detection. Increased speed on the grab. Damn, Rosa had quite a lot. Up special, increased fast fall speed after using the move. I wonder how much that will matter since you tend to up to ledge anyway. Rosalie and Luma down B. 
reduce Luma's lag, other reduce Luma's stamina, shorten the time it takes for Luma to reappear after being defeated when there are one to three opponents. All right, so Luma comes back faster. Yeah, Rosalina, yeah, quite a bit of buffs. Oh wait, Little Mac? Don't tell me he has any dumb stuff. Made it easier to multiple times. Reduce lag, increased attack range, increased attack range. Nothing too bad so far. F tilt, made it easier to hit multiple times when hitting an airborne opponent. Down tilt, increased attack range. Up smash, increased amount of time. Super armor lasts. All right, that's a bit annoying. Neutral special, reduce vulnerability when using the move on the ground when it's not fully charged. Reduced vulnerability when using KO uppercut on the ground. All right, so reduced lag. Side special increase the range at the beginning of the move. So his recovery is a little bit better, I guess. Down B, reduced lag. Me brawlers, I actually know nothing about these characters. Made it easier to hit multiple times. Flurry attack, increased attack range. Neutral special two made easier to yeah a lot of multiple multiple times. Same with Pac-Man's up smash. Shulk increased attack range on oh, yeah neutral. Uh, up smash adjusted launch angle and made it easier to hit multiple times. Yeah, it's so many of those dash attack adjusted launch angle. Hopefully it's actually leading to you know some shit, but I doubt it. Up tilt reduced lag. Up smash. Extended launch distance. So his up smash is stronger. Neutral special increased attack speed in the air. That that move has way too much like you can see it from miles away. So I don't really think that's gonna matter. Uh, side special increased speed when starting the move. Well, that move is shitty already, so I really don't think that's gonna matter much either. Up B increased attack range. Of the hammer attack, that's good. Increased amount of time. Hit detection lasts for the hammer attack, also fine. Adjusted launch angle of the explosion from the junior clown car when used on the ground and made it easier to hit multiple times. Yeah, I feel like Bowser Jr., yeah, he didn't really ma matter much. That counts, yeah, pretty much unchanged. Good shit. I want that count to be dead. Shoutouts to my boy Nashi. But yeah, made it easier to hit multiple times on up air. I actually feel like it actually pretty much always hits multiple times anyway. Yeah, okay. Ryu and Ken. A lot here. These are also char characters I don't really know much about. Increased amount of time you can cancel with a special move. Same for neutral attack 2. Adjusted launch angle and distance on neutral attack. F tilt. Weak close range, increased amount of time you can cancel. Hmm. Yeah, it seems to be yeah, it seems to be quite a few different things with like yeah specials. Oh, decrease the speed for light Hadouken and light. Increased speed for heavy Hadouken and heavy. All right, it seems to be like a little bit here and there. I honestly, to be entirely honest with you guys, I don't know enough about these characters to really say much in terms how much this will help or not. Uh, Cloud, down smash, made it easier to hit multiple. Okay, so Cloud pretty much unchanged. Bayo, quite a few changes. Increased amount of time, hit detection lasts. Flare attack finish, extended launch distance, so yeah, stronger. Dash attack, extended launch distance for the high damage range. Up tilt, easier to hit multiple times. Down smash, increased amount of time, hit detection lasts. Uh, Bayo, side special, reduce, when, reduce lag when landing. Up special, reduce lag when landing. Down the increased amount of time, counter detection lasts, so... Witch time, increased amount of time, bat within detection last, increase the recovery speed of witch time's duration. Yeah, yeah, some some buffs. Don't think it's like 
It, it really depends on exactly how much increase tier means as well. Inkling, neutral attack 3, increased increased forward attack range and made it easier to hit multiple times when continuing from neutral attack 2. Inkling survived, boys. Inkling survived. Let's go. King care roll. Up air. Increase the speed of the edge grab range detection. Alright. I saw it was someone earlier in chat that was like, Inkling got nerfed. I was like, I hope. I hope. It's not serious. And apparently it was not. Isabel, side B. Opponents will not get caught when the hook is not moving quickly. After the hook touches the ground and the hook is janked back. Opponents... Wait, after the hook... After the hook touches the ground and the hook is janked back, opponents can be caught. Alright? Yeah, I was, I was a little bit confused what they, uh, what they meant exactly. But yeah, opponents will not get caught when the hook is not moving quickly. Yeah, that sounds that sounds bad for Isabel. Incineroar, neutral attacks, adjusted a launch distance when hitting with the elbow and made easier. Yeah, multiple times. Same there. Piranha plant, neutral attack, increased attack range. Flurry attack, increased amount of time. Opponents will be in damage animation when the move hits. Piranha plant still sucks ass. And Joker side special made it easier to hit multiple times. Alright, so basically summary can be that multi-hit moves overall is clearly, clearly improved. A lot of moves in this game that have multi-hit, uh, you know, multi-hits did not work properly. You like, it doesn't connect the way it quote-unquote should. Now it seems like a lot of that is different. Another thing we can take away from looking at these patch notes, it very clearly looks like Nintendo is not only, if at all, looking at online matches. These patent patch notes, even if nothing seems to be super major, uh, it does seem like they're looking at uh, tournament results. Because some of the characters that I would say uh, it looked like was losing a lot on top of my head. It looked like Peach was losing quite a bit. It looked like Lucina. It looked like Wolf. Uh, looked like Olimar. Uh, I feel like it was some other good character that I probably don't remember right uh, as of this moment. Then we saw some other characters that haven't gotten much attention, like Diddy Kong getting uh, quite a bit buffed. Pichu, also a character a lot of people have complained about, despite not actually having that amazing results. But Pichu still got nerfed uh, quite a bit. So, yeah, I would be... I'll be very surprised if, you know, Elite Smash represents these changes. It, it, it more or less feels like top results from Smash tournaments, like, you know, from pro players and random various complaints. Yeah, uh, overall I'm still, I'm still cool. I'm still cool with the patch notes.